Anthony Hopkins electrifies the screen in Nixon, the acclaimed hit from controversial director Oliver Stone. Nominated for four Academy Awards, Nixon takes a riveting look at a complex man whose chance at greatness was ultimately destroyed by his passion for power. When his involvement in conspiracy jeopardized the nation's security and the President of the United States, with a phenomenal all-star cast featuring Etta Harris, James Woods, and Joan Allen. Nixon is powerful motion picture entertainment you don't want to miss. Now, people in my generation mostly see parodies of Richard Nixon, never really serious stuff. We've seen things in mostly Simpsons, Futurama, Family Guy, or any political cartoon, or anything that's like comedy oriented. We've only seen jokes about Nixon. We've never really seen any seriousness about Nixon. The only other time I've seen something that where Nixon was taken seriously was the movie All the President's Men, which is another good movie, by the way. Um, but even then, that wasn't a characterization. That was just stock footage being used of Richard Nixon. So we only got to see newsreels about him. Um, so it was really good to see a real dramatic characterization of this character. And... And done in such a... Not, he was not painted as a bad guy in this movie. He was painted in a more sympathetic way or, or in a way to empathize with him or just to really get to know the guy and also to show how his decline, his rise to power and then decline as well, including, including getting to be paranoid about everything, uh, just constant, you know, worry and just, you know, just seeing how this man was just slowly but surely falling apart. Um, now, I do have to point out that they even point this out in the movie, at the beginning of the movie, that this is, this movie is not 100% factual, because we don't really know what happened behind closed doors during Nixon's presidency, or at least at the time of this movie they didn't know. Uh, so there was a lot of dramatic emphasis, and they pointed that out, and that is kind of true. You actually do get to really see a lot of dramatic emphasis, especially with dialogue and how things might, it may or may not have occurred. Uh, so, it, it, was, it was really good that they did that, because it gave it a nice flow, and even though it's a three-hour long movie, it gave it a nice flow, you got to see all the different aspects of the characters of, of these real people, uh, you got to see how, you just, you know, Nixon was a good president, but at the same time, kind of very paranoid, and just not that, just not all there, pretty, basically. Um... The other uh, the actors in particular with this movie were really really good. I mean everybody was just spot on. Uh, but I have to give a special nod to uh, to Anthony Hopkins for playing Nixon. He really got the role down. If you really do your research on Nixon, you get to see Anthony Hopkins got all the the mannerisms down to like always oh, doing this or you know this or just all these little hand gestures or other things. He almost got the voice, but it's just not 100%. It's because, you know, Anthony Hopkins is British, so he tried getting that that accent that Nixon had, but almost there, but still, it was pretty dang good. Um, the uh, Another mention I would have to give would be Bob Hoskins, who had a very short role in this movie, who plays uh, J. Edgar Hoover. And I've never seen the movie, because I haven't seen the Leo DiCaprio movie of J. Edgar yet, so I can't have anything to compare yet. But I have not seen... A movie that really depicted J. Edgar Hoover's homosexuality. And that was shocking to me in this movie to see that and to see Bob Hoskins take it take it like a pro and didn't he didn't play J. Edgar femininely, he actually did it masculinely and played it like any other role. It's just the character was gay. And that was it. And I was shocked by that, to tell you the truth. I, I always knew there was rumors about um J. Edgar, but nothing to this extent. But then again, that this also might be dramatic licensing. They may have maybe just took the rumor and just expanded it more, uh, because I don't know that much about J.R. Kruger, so I'm only speculating. But even then, Bob Hoskins was damn good. I mean, he was impressive playing a role like that. Uh, but all the other actors in the movie, like I said, are really good and are worth 
worth looking at and watching. Um, sets were good. Um, sets were good. Music was pretty good too. Um, uh, one thing I have to know, mention with this one uh, is occasionally for dramatic effort, em emphasis, the movie will be regular, you know, color, 90s color, but then it'll switch to black and white and kind of be like a um, documentary film at times just to give like a dramatic emphasis for a scene I, I liked it better in this movie because like i said it provided emphasis but uh, i've seen in a movie beforehand which i think was made before this movie called natural born killers which um every two seconds changed from color to sloppy color that was jaggedy to black and white every two seconds and that was fucking annoying but in this movie, it worked. And it really kind of showed the degrade of, of uh, Nixon's personality and going downhill. Um, direction was good. Script was very, very good. Although I'd like to see how thick a three-hour script was. But man, they had a lot, everybody had a lot of dialogue. Delivered it perfectly. Really made you question about Nixon's presidency and, you know, whether, whether or not he... He was good or bad or just was a good guy it's just all this pressure just might have just gotten to him um, so there's a lot of emotions that went with it and actually ended pretty well you know you gotta feel like you know what he maybe was a good president just in my opinion just a little paranoid too paranoid um, but yeah all was good with this movie I I was very very impressed I I uh, although I have to admit I um, it did feel a bit long. It was draggy, but it was still a good movie and worth that drag to watch the whole movie. I kind of give I give this one five stars out of five. It's worth watching, particularly if you are a, a political historian. This is a good movie to watch. Uh, if you're looking at just character pieces, this movie is also good as well. Um, it is it is very noteworthy, particularly if you're a fan of the Watergate scandal and other movies like that. Like uh, like I mentioned before, all the presidents, man, this would go well with that and shows not really Nixon's side of it, but really just overall of Nixon's presidency. So yes, there is that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.